well, how should I put this very lightly? As I saw this on Twitter, it does appear that Alex Trebek, America's favorite game show host, has died today at the age of 80 after a very, very long battle, a very tough one, I might, I might add. On pancreatic cancer, which she had. The official Jeopardy account has uh, tweeted this from three hours ago, which says Jeopardy is sent to share that Alex Trebek passed away peacefully at home early this morning, surrounded by family and friends. Thank you, Alex. And when I clicked on this, I definitely did not want to believe that he died, but unfortunately, I read everything, and uh, it just baffles me of. How much time people spent being being divided in the last four years of the Trump presidency. And now, because of every celebrity that died this year, this one probably hits me the most. And so do many of every Jeopardy fan in this country. And for that, I kind of want to say that when I was little, I kind of watched Jeopardy, Jeopardy here and there. Every day, sometimes every day back in New York. And I would always watch Alex Trebek telling the contestants these answers. Unfortunately, I don't remember all the episodes from my earlier days of the of the 21st century, but I kind of remember that Alex Trebek had a full hair hair of mustache. Throughout the, the last couple of years that I watched Jeopardy in New York. And it wasn't until around 2012 when I started watching Jeopardy again. 2013, I started, I started, I also started to watch Jeopardy a few more times. 2014. I still watch Jeopardy, but not as much. 2015, same thing. 2016, well, I definitely sometimes I definitely do watch Jeopardy like every three months, as well as I watched We Are Fortune. In 2017, I. Uh,
I practically watched Jeopardy, I think, for about a whole year, as well as 2018, I think. I watched Jeopardy for a whole year, along with Wheel of Fortune, because I think there wasn't any cartoon network programming due to my cable being a shithead. I only have to watch Jeopardy, Jeopardy along with Wheel of Fortune on WBZ TV, which you, if you don't know, is a CBS affiliate in Boston. And uh, yeah, I've been watching Jeopardy since. And as well as 2019, last year I watched more Jeopardy. And in 2020, 20, the year that we're in right now, I probably did watch more Jeopardy right before, I think, it was June or May since the, uh, since my lover who uh, one time came downstairs and unplugged every plug. He also unplugged the TV plug and since then I wasn't able to watch Jeopardy because of that, because of the fact that I probably had Wi-Fi issues which could be the problem but I wished my brother could have kept the TV left left the TV plug alone and I wouldn't have to sit on my computer every day and watch a lot of YouTube videos because I still like to watch TV that is my more that's more my pep preference preference when I uh, come to watch actual entertainment programming and that was Jeopardy. Right now though, even though Jeopardy just started this fall, it's highly unlikely I'll catch all the episodes on Dougie BZ. Depending on how long the show's episodes are going to be now, more than ever before during the COVID era. And I definitely wasn't expecting this news today. It really hit me very hard. As a Jeopardy fan, I... <sighs> I am very, 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 very saddened that this happened. And... I want to wish my condolences to the people who made Jeopardy happen behind the scenes, and I and I want to wish his family well, too. And I'm also sorry for their loss, because this is a pretty big one in 2020. Just after yesterday's American victory. This right there was a loss of victory for America. Whatever happens, I hope that Jeopardy will continue to thrive on for many, many years. Forever. Rest in peace, Alex Trebek. You're a one of a kind.